What is up guys? I am Ethan Enns and today's video involves this. That's right folks, I am finally trying out the latest trend, fidget spinners. So I thought it'd be cool to unbox it and capture my very first reaction to it on camera. So I have really high expectations because in case you haven't noticed, these things are kind of a big deal right now. I mean, if you haven't at least heard of these things, then you've probably been living under a rock. All the big YouTubers are making videos about them, there's tons of memes about them, and if you're so lazy that you don't want to go to the store and buy one, you can download a game. Like really? So as you can see, I have my GoPro here on the table to kind of get a closer shot of everything that's going on as I'm testing it out. But before we test it out, let's take a closer look at the packaging. So as you can see here, this is the Chrome Edition Crazy Spinner. This was $20 at Canadian Tire. Right here, you can see it says high performance bearing. And also from what I've heard, the plastic ones aren't that great. So this one is Chrome. It should be a lot better than the cheap ones you can get at Walmart. So like I said, it was $20. So I think this is a pretty good one I have here, but we're gonna be putting that to the test today. Uh, it says it's great for stress relief, anti-stress, gran alivo, del estrés. I don't know what that means. And it also says it's great for work, school, and home. Right now I'm at home, so that works out perfectly. All right, well enough of that boring stuff. I know you guys are waiting for me to open this puppy up. So, I have, oh crap, a little clumsy of me. So I have my handy dandy scissors here just in case, but I think I might actually be able to open this without, oh yeah, okay, so take this out here, there it is, wow. Wow, that is, that is really nice. Um, red is my favorite color by the way, so yeah, I'm loving this, this is, this is really nice. Um, so there's nothing else in the box here, no instructions. That must mean that it's pretty straightforward. And once again, I've never held one of these in my hands. So just saying, I may or may not drop it right off the bat and make a fool of myself. I don't know. Uh, maybe they're really easy to use, but uh, we're gonna open the packaging here. Oh, wow. That is nice. It's definitely, it, it's got some weight to it for sure because it is chrome. But yeah, I'm gonna check this out here. So I'm just gonna put my thumbs on here. And, okay, my finger's in the way. Oh, oh. So this is what it feels like to spin a fidget spinner, wow. Wow, and that looks really cool too. I need to, need to figure out a better way to hold it though. I think I'm doing this wrong. My finger is kind of getting in the way, as you can see here. It's almost hitting my hand. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Boom. Ooh, that looks cool. The next thing I want to try is timing it um, to see how long this puppy can actually go. So, start the timer here. I don't know if that was a very good spin. That was a, probably a terrible spin. Um, let's see, that was eight seconds. Um, I'm just gonna start it once I get it going here. Boom. All right, still going, 15 seconds. Kind of getting, woo, hypnotized here. All right, it's slowing down a little bit, still kind of going. There we go, it stopped right there, and that is about 48 seconds. That is pretty decent, and I don't even know if I gave it a very good spin to start it off, honestly. Um, so yeah, this is this is really cool. So another thing I wanna try is just spinning on the table. I've seen quite a few YouTubers do this, so I wanna see how good this one will actually do that. I'm gonna get this stuff out of the way here, and let's see what it does if I just give it a little, that was definitely not enough of a flick. Okay, let's hold it. Oh there, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, you definitely gotta hold it. Press down on it a little bit and spin it. Wow, that is cool. That is pretty impressive how long it can actually spin for. And it's also really cool that you can spin it in your hands or on the table. And I've also seen people do a bunch of tricks and stuff with it. Um, I don't know if I'll try to attempt that today. So, so far I've kind of just done a really easy way to spin it. But another way to do it, as it shows on the package here, is to actually put it right on this finger, your middle finger right here and just give it a, oh man, oh. Yeah, clearly I do not know how to do this. You gotta keep it really steady. Hopefully uh, not getting too scratched up here. I think I have it pretty balanced. Oh, there we go, oh, kinda, yeah, kinda doing it. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Try to keep this as level as possible. Here we go. Oh man, off to a rough start, but there we go. Seems to be working decently. Oh, 
Yeah, I am a pro, right? No, not really, but not bad. All right, well, obviously that's something I'll have to uh, work on and get better at, but as far as just spinning it like this, uh, it's super fun, looks really cool, it's a great time waster, and yeah, definitely, definitely met my expectations. And uh, it's not too bulky, it looks like it'd be able to fit in my pocket comfortably without me looking like a complete dork. I mean, this thing is, this thing is pretty cool, I see why this thing is a trend. Um, so like I said, this was $20 at Canadian Tire, you can go and get it yourself. It is the Crazy Spinner brand, Chrome Edition, you can get cheaper ones like I said at Walmart for around seven dollars so those ones are the plastic ones and uh, from what I've heard those ones aren't as good this one definitely is I would say a good one even though I've never tried any other ones um, this is pretty good like I feel like this is a pretty good one right here so if you own a fidget spinner make sure to put a comment below of what you think of them and if you have any recommendations of different types or brands I'm definitely interested in hearing about it um, but this one here is not too cheap not too expensive kind of right in the middle and I think it's actually pretty decently good quality <sighs> listen to that sound it's just so soothing all right, so this video was just my very, very first reaction to it. I'm looking forward to playing around with it and getting better at it. Anyways, guys, this video was a little bit different than anything I've ever done before, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I got some cool ideas in the works right now, and also some new videos coming sooner than you think, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. I would appreciate that very much. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm Ethan Enns, and I'll see you guys in the next video.